Getting close, getting close. So that clip was from my birthday. We took one of these big old boats offshore fishing. Unfortunately, all we caught was, well, all we kept was some small blackfin tuna, which I'm fine with because I've never caught them before. And uh, I asked the captain, I was like, can you eat these raw? Can we have sashimi? He was like, absolutely. So we got back to the dock, he filleted them up. Ten bones to run all the way down there. Got some fresh black fin sashimi, dock sushi. Yeah, buddy. Can't get fresher than that. Well, we cut it up when we caught it. Yeah. A couple hours ago. Oh, it's so soft. Can you get up on this? Can you, can you join the party? Oh man. It's like tuna veal with these little tiny tunies we caught today. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Now I need a beer. That's out of this world. Mm -hmm. We're out of the Florida Keys. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely in this world. Uh, Alright, <laughs> uh, it's 30. See ya. So the black thing tuna were absolutely delicious raw. But we had enough that we brought back and we wanted to do some pan searing. Now, all we have back at the hotel is a gas grill. But that ain't gonna stop us from steering some tuna. So with the gas grill, I figured we want to get the pan close to the flame. So what we did, we only lit this half. We took the grates out. So over here, I mean, this, this pan here will, will melt. So we're gonna put the pan over there. It's nice and cool on this side. We're just gonna let the pan heat up right now. Unlike when we grilled the fish and we put the oil in the bag and then the seasoning, all we did for the tuna is the Baja citrus and the mojito lime. Um, without the oil because we kind of want to just sear the outside of it. We're just going to wait for our pan to heat up, throw some oil in there, and get to cooking. We're just sort of making this up as we go. Obviously it would be better if you had a direct flame underneath the pan to get it steaming hot, but we've had it on here for a little while now. We're just going to put some oil in it now. It's a nice non-stick pan. I'd rather have some cast iron, but what are you going to do? It's definitely hot. I'm just going to oil it up. I'm just going to spread it around a little bit with a paper towel. That's all the oil I want in there. So hopefully we get a little sizzle when I drop this in there. That's what I want to hear. Ah. I'm not going to crowd the pan either. Sizzle two of them. Now this shouldn't take long. We're just trying to sear them here. Give them maybe like a 20 count or so. Amazing. <laughs> they can still obviously be raw in the middle. We're just trying to sear the outside, get those flavors mixed into them. One more flip on this guy. Get that there. These are little tunies too. A couple more seconds, we'll be eating. And that's it. I literally just walked over, grabbed the pan, and that's all the all the quicker we're doing here. Just a quick sear. Lunch is served. All right, we ended up just doing them all, doing the rest of them. 
while we had the fire hot. That's what we call tuna veal. Let's go feast. All right, let's see how we did. We'll grab one and slice it into our, so we got the, the right look. Oh yeah. Oh baby, look at that. All right, well, I mean, we don't have any wasabi. We do have some soy sauce. We, got, we still have the chipotle stuff, but I'm gonna go right in for a nice center cut, just like that. It's almost like eating a marshmallow. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's so tender. I've had bluefin, yellowfin before. This is the blackfin. Little tiny guys, but they are like tenderloin tuna. Tenderloin tuna. <laughs> tuna backstraps. I mean, they are backstraps, but it's... Cheers. We might make some tacos. I don't know. We can make some sandwiches. But I'm enjoying it just like this. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, God bless. Mm. Mm. High five. Yes. That's what's up right there. <laughs>